Okay, final example today, negative B bracket, negative B times B minus C minus C minus B. Okay, I want to show you one other thing you could do if you wish. And this is, it's not a requirement, but this is another way to tackle this kind of problem that you might prefer. All right? What I want you to notice here is the innermost parentheses, I have B minus C and C minus B. It means different Cross them out. Well, no, they you can't cross them out because they're not... Like B minus C doesn't equal C minus B. They're opposite sign. It'd be nice if we can cross them out, but that'd be that's not possible. So what I could do is I know what B and C equal, right? So if I look at B minus C before I work out all that stuff, B minus C would be negative four minus negative six, right? Negative four minus negative six, which is gonna be negative four plus six, which equals positive two. So B minus C is equal to positive two. And C minus B, if I do that one, it's going to be negative 6 minus negative 4, which is negative 6 plus 4, which equals negative 2. All right, so look at the effect that has. I've figured out part of the expression over there, and I come over here to substitute into this expression. So I got my minus B, I'm going to use red to represent B. All right, so minus B, I'm going to put a negative 4 in that parentheses. Then I have a bracket, right? I'm going to go ahead and keep it a bracket this time. All right? Now, I got another minus sign in front of my B. So again, B is red, so I'm going to put a negative 4 there. Now, notice what I'm going to do here. B minus C equals 2. Okay? So I have to substitute the negative 4 and the negative 6 in for B and C. I've already evaluated B minus C, so I can just go ahead and throw that numerical value in. Then there's a minus sign in the expression. And then for C minus B, I'm going to substitute a negative 2. Then I'm going to end my bracket. If you want to find out what a piece equals before you substitute in, I know that B minus C is equal to 2, so B minus C can be replaced with 2. I know that C minus B equals negative 2, so C minus B can be replaced with negative 2. That is something, when the expressions get really ugly or really big, that's one way you can handle it to make it a little simpler on yourself. Okay, and when we get to algebra 2 and doing these same types of problems, um, I always do it that way. We do some algebra to simplify this first, and we get the most simple letter expression before we start substituting numbers in. And we're going to get to that point in this class this year. Next, inside the brackets, all this stuff is being multiplied. That's being subtracted. 4 times 2 is 8. 2 negatives make a positive. Minus minus 2 is 2. 2 negatives make a positive. Again, this is subtraction happening here. A parentheses, a number or a letter followed by a plus or minus is addition or subtraction. 2 minuses makes a change to addition. Out here, minus minus 4 is positive 4. 8 plus 2 is 10. And 4 times 10 is 40. So consider this an option for how to do it sometimes, just to make the problem maybe a little simpler. You take some of the more complicated or bigger expressions, figure out what they equal, and just substitute instead of two numbers, substitute one number for a sum or a difference. That might make it easier on you.